Ganesh, yes, sir. tell me about yourself. Good afternoon, sir. I am Ganesh. I came from Varangal and I have done my schooling in JPHS Mungalavidu. And later I had to move Hyderabad for my further studies. And I have done my graduation in civil engineering with a CGP of uh, 7.5. And my strong interest in um, software industry that led me to translate into IT field. Mm -hmm. So over the few months, I have learned a strong, I, over the few months, I built a strong foundation in technical line, problem solving skills. Sir. Okay. Apart from my studies, I am very interested in sports like cricket, kabaddi. Okay. Yes, that's all very good. good. Very good. What is the use of data structures in Python? Data structures are used to store the data in a structure and manner, sir. So okay. we can that so that we can retrieve the data in a structure and manner and uh, in efficient uh, manners. Okay. Very good. So tell me what do you mean of slicing? Slicing is you're getting uh, some part of the data. Sir. Mm -hmm. okay. Some part of the data structure is not much slicing. Yes. So I am giving you one list. So for example, if I do the slicing like this, what I will get? Tell me answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is no concept of error in slicing. There is no output. Sir. There is no output. Yes. Why? Why means it should be in, actually we have a three places. One mm -hmm. is for uh, initial, I mean starting, starting. state and this is the ending state. And we have to the step, but here the first is five, and it is two. By default, it will take uh, plus one. But we are here the okay. The direction is not going from start to end. Yes, okay, sir. you take another, take another. So you just take minus five to minus three. Minus three. Step minus one. Okay. Tell me what would be the output. I think here also no output. Sir. Okay, it's no output. Clearly, it's clear. Yes. Very good. So what do you mean of string? Yes, string is used to store the uh, data in a yeah, string format. So we use double quotation marks to store the data. Okay. Can you write a program without using slicing, reverse the string? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, what do you mean of set? Set is a type of data structure uh, which is used to store the heterogeneous values which does not follow the order and we can add the uh, values in the set in terms of mutability and uh, it does not allow the duplicate values. Okay. Uh, tell me what do you mean of generator? Generator is a special function which is used the yield keyword to return the values. Why, why you are using yield keyword? The fundamental behavior of the yield keyword once you return the values uh, it comes back to the calling area it backs to the code and it resumes the process. Okay. I mean, I will rephrase the question. So it's like, my question is, why not return why you are using yield keyword? If you, uh, you can use a return statement also, right? Why you are using yield? But if we use the return, uh, it never come back to the calling area. So mm -hmm. that's why you use yield to reiterate the elements or whatever. Okay. So write a program. You just do dictionary comprehension. Yes, sir. I want you to give me the output like, if it is odd number, so the key should be that number, value should be cube of that number. If it is even, even key should be uh, that number and square should be the value. Square of that number should be the value. Meaning the sample output is 1, 1, 1, one I mean dictionary, right? Yeah. Uh, 2, 4, 2, 4, 3, 27. Like that, I want to get the output. Okay. Yeah. How do you do? I want you to do it in dictionary comprehension. Yes. Very good. So tell me, what do you mean of higher order functions in Python? Higher order function is used to, uh, it can take the other functions as the input. So okay. that's why we use higher order function. Okay. Can you please, and can you please write a, an example for decorator? Yes, sir, sure. <laughs> okay, very good. So now explain what is happening here when you are talking about decorator, what is happening? It will check the way is there any decorator in the program. Mm -hmm. So we have a decorator here. So the name decorator function with, so we are, we created a function here, sir. Mm -hmm. So we should have a two functions in the decorator. Mm -hmm. First here in that function, the, it, this whole function is comes under S. Mm -hmm. So in the inner function, we, we are printing print VQ. Mm -hmm. And next, I'm calling this function. So the, this program will run here, sir. So first okay. print VQ and Ganesh, and then next week. Okay. And I'm returning the inner function. It will go to the object vector programming. 
Can you please explain principles of object oriented programming? Sir, are you asking about main pillars? Yes. So there are main four pillars of hoops in Python. Mm -hmm. uh, one is encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphisms. Mm -hmm. Explain them. Sir, first hoops. Hoops means object oriented programming. Like programming, uh, it is a one paradigm of way of writing program. First is uh, class and objects. Class is a blueprint for creating a objects. Mm -hmm. and it will define the variable sign attribute sign methods okay. and next to objects when we create a object uh, the original function i mean it's a physical entity okay. we can create a number of objects for one class okay and next to inheritance acquiring properties from parent class to child class uh, okay. we have a uh, four different types of inheritance in python one is single inheritance multiple multi-level and higher higher pillar okay and next Abstraction. Abstraction is nothing but uh, hiding complex details and showing the necessary part of the program. Okay. It's uh, abstraction. And encapsulation is nothing but wrapping the data and variables into a single uh, unit. It okay. is achieved by using uh, protected private sum. Okay. And next, uh, polymorphism. Polymorphism is nothing but a many forms. Okay. We can add some. The same entity operator are different in different situations. Different okay. behaviors. Okay, very good. So tell me, what is the meaning of MRO? MRO is uh, it stands for method resolution order, which defines the order of the calling classes uh, based on within. Okay, very good, very good. So now we'll move to MySQL. Yeah. How much will it be in MySQL out of five? Four. Four. Again, very good. What is the difference between delete and truncate? A uh, truncate is used to delete the entire rows while maintaining the structure, and delete is used to delete the specific rows or entire rows and in the truncate we cannot we cannot do the rollback okay. but in delete we can do that okay. can you write a query like for example we are having a table where you are having employee number employee name salary and least respect to department okay. so you are having for example one lakh records in the table okay. now you want to find how much salary we are spending in each department in each department yes Very good, very good. You are doing good. Please practice. Yeah. Okay. You will be getting into the job easily. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Super. Yeah.